Hey everyone, my name is Chloe and today I'm here to do a try a chapter tag. So I am doing this for two reasons. One, just for funsies because I love try a chapter tags, especially for books that I have to read physically. Um, I really like to do that and like see if that first chapter really sucks me in because then that really like motivates me. Um, for physical reading, I love picking a new book, but then I feel like the first like 50 pages are always kind of a struggle for me to like focus because if I can do that 50 pages in one sitting, I'm hooked. But if I can't, it takes me a while to get hooked. So I like try a chapter tags for that reason. So, um, but the other reason I'm doing it is because Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, they are doing the summertime book bingo um, board. And I'm trying to do that and I'm trying to go for a blackout. And so um, I'm, I'm currently vlogging all of my reads for that. But I wanted to put this little try a chapter tag in its own video just to not make that video a really long video and also because I think it's fun. So two of the prompts for that are to have a friend pick one of your books and do a try a chapter tag. So I decided to combine those prompts and I called my friend Brie, um, Brie Hill from Falling, well no, um, Brie Unabashedly is her name on Instagram. She used to be on YouTube. Um, and then she was falling for romance on Instagram and now she's Brianna Bashedly. And you guys, this woman is like pure gold. I mean, I don't even know what to say about her. She is like God's gift to so many people and she just radiates joy and she's a, the, one of the greatest friends ever. And she's just, she's so great. And so I called her on FaceTime and went through my, all my bookshelves that are unread and that I only have physically. So I cannot get copies of these books digitally anywhere. And um, so she picked, I think like six, and we narrowed it down to three, or she narrowed it down to three. I, I did not want to influence her at all because I really don't care. Um, so she narrowed it down to three. So let's talk about what those threes are. Three are. The first is the Magnolia Sisters. Um, she was saying her name is Elise Murray. Um, so I have not read anything by her, but I love this cover, and I think it's so summery. And this one says... Um, Sometimes love blooms in the most unlikely places. Harper Anderson has a to-do list longer than the Colorado River and fields of tulips to tend at her fa family's flower farm in California. What she doesn't have is time for the arrogant tech mogul who makes her an offer to use their farm as his sister's wedding venue. Um, no amount of money can make up for the destruction it would wreak on the season's crop. The sooner he's on his way, the better. Um, but Luke will do whatever it takes to make his sister happy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They, um, I think... Harper and Luke each expect the other to crack first. What they didn't expect is chemistry, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, this sounds really cute. And this is the one that, well, the only one out of these three that Brie has said she read and she thought it was cute. So I am excited to try this one. Next is um, Summer by the Sea by Jenny Hale. So Jenny Hale is one of Brie's favorites. And I have like a love-hate relationship with Jenny Hale. Sometimes they're a little too slow for me and sometimes they're great. So this one is a page-turning novel about the powerful bond between sisters, the painful joy of first love, and the realization that we may not always get what we want, but if we're lucky, we might get exactly what we need. So that sounds really good. Um, Faith will never forget the one summer she found her first love. She thought they'd be together forever. Only her younger sister, oh, sorry, only her younger sister, Casey, um, stole the man of her dreams. So Faith and Casey have been estranged ever since, but by the re request of their grandmother, Faith agrees to come to a family reunion. Both sisters will send, spend the summer on the beach where the feud began. So that sounds really good. Um, if you guys can tell, it's like over 100 degrees here, but the wind is picking up because I guess it's going to storm either tonight or tomorrow or something. And so it is like crazy out here, very muggy um, and crazy, but this one definitely sounds better just based on the synopsis, so we'll see. And then the last one she picked is um, Good Luck by Whitney Gaskell. So Whitney Gaskell is one of those people who I read a couple of hers a uh, long time ago and really liked them. So I like bought as many as I could find, like used, cheap, whatever. And this one, we both kind of said like it has like a shopaholic -y cover and just feels very like chiclet um, and kind of fun. So can $87 million buy happiness? That's what one, one, one young woman is about to find out in this hilarious and smart new novel from the author of the poignant, funny mommy tract. Um, gosh dang, I'm going to get my hair out of my face and then see what else it says. So 
Uh, Lucy Parker wins the lottery on the worst day of her life, but can all the money in the world make up for a cheating boyfriend, a derailed career, um, and ending up in the middle of a media circus? Everyone wants a piece of Lucy, and all she wants is to escape from it all. So, um, those are the three books. This is times when, like, having bangs is really unpleasant. They, they're, they like, halfway grown out, halfway not, and I don't know what to do with them. So, <sighs> yikes. But I'm going to sit out here. The girls are playing on a... Um, we got, I, I got last Black Friday, I got a Little Tykes, um, it's like a blow up slide, um, and it's like got a motor and all that kind of stuff. Got it for more than half price, which is crazy. Um, and we got it out for 4th of July and they have loved it. And so we blow it up like a couple times a week and they just go to town, run circles and it is the best energy burn ever. So they are out here doing that. I'm going to try to read these first chapters before dinner and um yeah i will get on and let you know what i think and which one i'm gonna read if you guys know brie at all um these are like really not surprising choices of hers she is a romance chiclet women's fiction lover just like myself and i love her so much so um yeah we're gonna try them out and i'll let you know what i think okay so i just read the first chapter here of the magnolia sisters and I liked it. Um, so this is about three sisters. Like the back doesn't really say anything about the sisters. Um, because I'm guessing it mostly follows Harper, but it's three sisters, Harper, May, and Rose. And they all live in this small town and work in family businesses. So Harper, um, is a, she like works with the flowers and stuff out on the farm. And then Rose has like a, a floral shop, um, where she like makes bouquets and does all that kind of stuff. And May has a shop where she does like candy and perfume and that kind of stuff. And they're all family run businesses. And it's a small town that I guess has kind of turned into a little bit of a touristy town lately. But um, what happens, what we were hinted at on the back is we find out that they are having a, a wedding. So one, uh, it was actually May's ex-boyfriend um, is getting married to like some Instagram influencer woman and her, her brother is an uber rich tech guy and I guess they're all moving to this little town between now and the wedding. And so um, they are nervous but excited about the prospect of potentially getting the floral contract for this huge, huge wedding. And Harper is definitely our most cynical sister. And so she is like not looking forward to this. Thinks they're going to just be looked down upon as little country cousins, she calls them. And she's pretty cynical. And May is really guarded and heartbroken because she, nobody knows what happened between her and this guy um, who's now getting married to somebody he just met. So um, it sounds intriguing. I'm, I'm definitely interested. This is also the shortest. This is 255 pages and it reads pretty quickly. So this is definitely a contender. Hey everyone, so it is the next day because I read um, the first chapter of that last book and then it was dinner time and then the Royals played and then like at bedtime I was so tired so I listened to a little of my audiobook and went to bed. So um, today, however, I've read the other two chapters and I did it during nap time and I had a kid in there with me so I didn't have a chance to update. But let's start with um, Summer by the Sea by Jenny, uh, Jenny Hale. So this one, um, first of all, I looked at it and I was like, yikes, because the font is tiny and the pages are pretty tightly packed. So I felt a little intimidated and I read this and the first chapter was like 16 pages, which was a fair amount longer than the, the chapter before in the book before. Um, but this one was really good. Like she does a really good job of making you instantly endeared to the character. So um, this girl, she's going to her family's little cottage um, for her grandma's 90th birthday. And on the way, she stops for a burger and kind of meets this guy, but it's just whatever. And then she gets to the cottage and she's the first one there. And that guy is there as well. He is like renovating it. He's the one that is like fixing it up. So they have a little friendship and she, it, there's a lot of like hints at the backstory um, that her sister kind of has always gotten the things that she wants and life seems pretty easy for her sister. Her sister um, stole her boyfriend when she was younger and now she's got this family and everything. And our main character, Faith, I think, um, she is a kindergarten teacher, doesn't have a kid or family or anything of her own despite like really wanting that. And she is talking to this guy about how she just like is tired of having to convince everyone she's happy 
even though she's like kind of really not. So um, this one sounds good. I'm still really intrigued and I definitely was more connected to the main character in this one than the one I read before. So then I read um, the first chapter in Good Luck by Whitney Gaskell. This one is an even longer first chapter and the pages aren't packed quite as tightly, tightly, but they are still um, pretty tightly packed. So Again, I was kind of like, oh, long chapters are not my favorite, especially for a readathon when my physical reading has been slower. So, however, I would say this this one read the fastest of all three. So, as I went on, like the first one was the shortest chapters, um, the shortest chapters, I guess, and then the second one was longer chapter but read a little bit quicker, and then this third one was an even longer chapter but read even faster. So, it'd be interesting to know, like how much time I spent with each book because the first one was definitely the least engaging then the second and then this one I would say um this one is like I said the cover kind of reminds me of shopaholic and even the first chapter kind of reminds me of shopaholic so not really though because she doesn't have like the annoyingness that Becky Bloomwood does so um this is about a main character Lucy is the, her name she is a English teacher at like a prep school a high school a prep school like a, an academy high school and she goes to work one day and her boss is like, hey, you're fired because this kid has accused you of like sexual harassment. And uh, the story is that the kid is a soccer player. She failed him on a test and his GPA dropped below 2.5, which is required to, to play soccer. So he's upset about it. And he was threatening to her and all that kind of stuff. And he like went in on it. He's got a lot of money. And so she was fired. The school decided to take his word over her. So, um... Yeah, she's fired. And so she has this boyfriend that she has had for a couple years. He broke up with her on her 30th birthday and then they got back together like the next day. And now it's two years later, they live together and she's hoping for like a ring soon. Um, her biological clock is ticking, et cetera, et cetera. But so she like gets fired. She's like, where do I go? What do I do? I could go to a bookstore, but that doesn't feel quite right. I could go to like home, but my boyfriend's gone at work. So she goes to her best friend's house and her best friend has twin boys and her best friend sounds like a really funny character. And, um, so we get to see a little bit of that life and just a little bit of her like reeling over what just happened. And so I don't know which to pick because this one, the other two are definitely romance. This one I would say feels more women's fiction, which I prefer women's fiction over romance. Um, the first one, the uh, Elise Murray one, that one has appeal because it's short. It's 255 pages. And also these other ones, um, this Good Luck is 374 and this Jenny Hale one is like right around 400. So these are both, I, I might've made that up actually. Um, yeah, this is actually 328. So as I kept going, they kept getting longer too. The chapters got longer as well as the books. Um, but this one is packed so tightly, I feel like it's going to be a solid 328. But um, anyway, so what to pick? The things I liked about the first one, about the Alice Murray, the Magnolia Sisters. I liked that it was short. Chapters were relatively short. I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward kind of enemies to lover romance. So not something that requires a ton of brain power. Um, it's got three sisters. I'm about to have my third girl. So that's kind of cool. Um, and they all seem very different and they all are a part of family run businesses. So that all seems cool. Um, things I like about the second one is that she is a kindergarten teacher and I was a kindergarten teacher. I relate to her. Um, I also feel for her a lot because she just kind of is doing her own thing and her family's kind of giving her a hard time. I know she's got some sister issues. Um, this one sounds good. And then this one reads the fastest and is a women's fiction, which is my preferred genre for enjoyment, not for like for getting through it quickly. I think, okay, so I'm either going to pick um, Magnolia Sisters or this one because I think I will get through Magnolia Sisters probably the quickest because it's the shortest and probably the most like straightforward. I not, None of these feel very like complex, um, but these two feel like they maybe have a little bit more depth and this one's women's fiction. So I'm already 22 pages into this one. So that feels like a good chunk. What to do, what to do. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. I'm gonna stick with this one. So, Good Luck by Whitney Gaskell is what I'm gonna be reading. So, um, I will make sure, well, this will probably come out before the vlog does. 
So stay tuned, watch the channel. Um, a vlog will be coming, including that book. So stay tuned. We will see you um, in that video. Thanks for watching.